Before moving ahead, you must understand the principles to be kept in mind while reporting. These are fundamentally linked to the qualities that mark a good news reporter. While nose for news is a given, instinct, intuition, a healthy dose of curiosity and skepticism also play an important role in getting news out from various avenues. An alert attitude, clarity of mind, and articulation of thought go hand in hand as you report and write a new story. Cultivate patience. You should be able to get cracking at a moment's notice and think on your feet. Also, the ability to meet deadlines is very crucial. Most importantly, never ever sacrifice accuracy for the sake of speed. The context of any and every story is extremely important. The devil is in the details. Every detail, facts, names, dates, figures and spellings need to be thoroughly double-checked. As a reporter, you also need to be aware and report what we do not know rather than expecting the reader to figure out the story on his or her own. Getting the right facts, and this means relevant facts, is as important as getting the facts right. You need to find all the pertinent information for your story and ensure that they are real. Thorough research is a big part of building a story. You need to make observations, take copious notes during interviews, check other reference materials, and then write new stories. Ensure that you only report what you know was said and attribute the statements to definite individuals. For example, the lawyer XYZ says or the chief minister ABC says. As accountable reporters, you need to be true to the readers and quote your sources. Your source may be a person, a publication, a record or a document which provides information. Mostly, they are not confidential. However, there may be certain circumstances where source may request anonymity out of fear of retaliation or persecution. In many countries of Europe and the United States, the importance of source protection has been acknowledged and recognized to some degree. However, in India, the issue has not been given due importance. The Law Commission has twice attempted to propose and recommend shield laws in this regard. However, no tangible results have appeared so far. Checking the credibility of the new source has become especially relevant in the present times when taking inputs from internet sources. If a website quotes another source, dig further and go to the primary source to ensure that you have the right information. A lot of articles are published online by trustworthy news outlets. However, there are many others written with no apprehension about failing in terms of factual accuracy and balance. Here, it becomes crucial for you as a reporter to use your judgment and evaluate who is a credible source of information. You should always be able to back up your facts. Do everything that needs to be done. Make calls, send messages and email. Show up where you need to ask the right kind of questions. Use the phrase on the record when you would like to quote or make an audio or video recording. There might be newspaper deadlines and the pressure may overwhelm you, but make an honest attempt to confirm everything from additional sources. Originality and resourcefulness in news gathering methods are as important to a reporter as learning to network and build contacts. You need to have integrity, be diligent, on the move and take the initiative. Be fearless yet tactful while handling people from all walks of life. You need to be a keen observer of life who makes people put on their thinking caps. In short, as a journalist, you will select, check, balance and cultivate your sources. Fairness and balance. Objectivity, accuracy and balance are essential qualities in a news reporter. 
Ensure that your quotes are precise. Also, be cautious while paraphrasing sources for a news report. You can summarize the key points spoken by the subject in your own words, but the meaning or the intent should not change. There is no room for personal bias in a reporter's work. As a news reporter, you should use as many legal and ethical methods as you can to gather news. There is no particular order in which you employ these methods. One way would be when you first cover an event, you observe what is happening there, interview and then look for documents to substantiate the story. Alternatively, you could first research written records or other documents. After that, you identify the interview subjects and then meet them. As a news reporter, you shall be the one who takes the final call. Written records, news press releases and other documents. Conducting research is an integral part of reporting. Research offers food for thought and is of two kinds, primary and secondary. Primary research involves going to an individual and seeking first-hand information from him or her. Secondary research encompasses looking at another kind of material from print resources, the internet, etc. Now, public documents such as government databases, population census, crime reports, budgets can keep an inspired journalist busy. There are also means to fact-check statements by interview subjects. Increasingly, data journalism has recently emerged in a big way, where as a journalist, you try to spot trends in large data sets, like elections and budgets. A news reporter needs to scratch the surface and not write a news story based just on a press handout, a news release, a press conference or speech. These may read as one-sided and may have been unfairly motivated by the source. Always verify the integrity of the information by engaging with multiple sources. Provide the context to the story, add relevant reactions from a related citation and offer your on-ground observations to the reader too. Observation. Explore your five senses to provide the reader with appropriate information that gives him or her a better perspective on the new story. Interviewing. Contact people who are directly involved in what is happening or who are the closest to it and get the story out. These are the newsmakers. They animate the stories and bring them to life through their memories, opinions and emotions. Then. There are the spokespeople who represent other individuals or institutions. With them, you need to be careful of the spin that they may want to give to a particularly new story. The experts are the ones who provide analysis or view on a particular event. For example, you may want a quote from a political analyst in a new story dealing with the state election forecast. You may interview someone through email, over the phone, and ideally in person. Think about the way you dress. Always be prepared with well-phrased, thought-provoking, neutral questions. Know your content and the interview subject. As a reporter, you need to have the knack of striking up conversations with strangers and know how to build a rapport while maintaining a certain distance. Maintain eye contact and nod if you agree. Help them relax and refrain from interrupting them while they are speaking. Non-verbal cues are as important in communication. Observe their body language, attire, gestures and social interactions closely. If you feel that your note-taking capabilities may not be enough, record the interview. As humans, we make mistakes and learn from them. But it is important that you are never careless. Check and double-check your facts. You first start by asking the source's name, the spelling, and the individual's official title in case it is relevant to the news story. Avoid asking questions which have single-word answers. Ask your sources to describe the situation or event. Listen carefully and critically.
place yourself in the reader's shoes and think of other follow-up questions. Sources who are in positions of power may try to unsettle you if you ask tough questions that they think are inappropriate. Engage patiently and don't let a situation like this overwhelm you. Handling Sources It is not only important to make contacts but also to stay in touch with them. You need to establish a rapport and share information when you can. Always try to learn if there is a way you can simplify the technical jargon that may be used by a source for your readers. Work ethically. If a source requests you to keep something off the record, then don't use that information. Always check with the source if there is someone else who can help you with the story.